Okay, so I've been studying Surah Al-Rahman recently and there's a really simple ayah that says هَلْ جَزَاءُ الْإِحْسَانِ إِلَّا الْإِحْسَانِ Is the reward for excellence anything but excellence? So part of the importance of this ayah is not only to tell us that our reward is going to be excellent, we know that Jannah is going to be absolute perfection. So what else is this ayah pushing us to think about? How do we define ihsan? What is excellence? How do we achieve it? And luckily enough, the Prophet ﷺ was asked a very similar question. The Prophet ﷺ was asked about the three levels of faith. What is Islam? What is Iman? And what is Ihsan? So the Prophet ﷺ defines Islam as the five pillars of Islam. So the Shahadatan, praying five times a day, Zakat, fasting during Ramadan, and Hajj for whoever is capable. So then what is Iman? Iman is also defined in multiple ayahs of the Qur'an, but it is essentially to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His angels, His prophets, and all the books He sent down. So that's clear enough. Then what is Ihsan? The Prophet ﷺ defines Ihsan as worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as though you see Him. For although you do not see Him, He always sees you. Notice how this answer is very different from the previous answers. The previous answers are very concrete and outline specific things that define Islam or Iman. But what I love about this response is that the Prophet ﷺ didn't give us a formula for Ihsan. He didn't say that in order to achieve Ihsan, you need to be praying 10 extra prayers every day, or you need to memorize the whole Quran, or you need to do A, B, and C. He just said it is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as though you can see Him. It is to feel His presence and it is to know that He is watching over you at all times. So Ihsan can be very different from person to person. My ihsan could be different than someone else's ihsan, but they can both be ihsan. Now note that excellence does not mean perfection. That does not mean that you are never going to make mistakes. But ihsan could be the feeling inside of you when you make a mistake and you feel guilty. Ihsan could manifest in the fact that maybe you intend on committing a certain sin and then you don't. Maybe you were going to talk badly about someone behind their back and then you decided I'm not going to because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching. Maybe you were going to listen to music in the car today and you decided to switch to Qur'an because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching. Maybe you got frustrated with one of your parents and you wanted to talk back or you wanted to yell but you decided you're going to hold it back because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching. My point is that ihsan, excellence, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as though you can see him can manifest in many many different ways so strive to reach that level of faith and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Wasbir fa inna Allah la ajra al-muhsineen. so be patient for indeed Allah does not allow to be lost the reward of those who do good